Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second, the demo. Let's get ready to collect some monster bones. Last time, after we defeated DeRosa, we got a remedy from him. And yeah, that cures a lot of status ailments, but I don't really care about that as much as I care about the money you can get out of it. So yeah, why don't we just sell that to get a little extra cash? And then I want to buy the Petronel rifle for Jan there. See how much that'll help him out. Yeah, look at that attack power boost. And the reason it's so much more powerful than the other weapon types is because it's a two-handed weapon. He can't equip a shield like everyone else can, so he's almost quite literally a glass cannon there. And let's sell the old rifle there. But yeah, I, I, I don't want to have, like, rifles on everyone as powerful as they are, because the enemies would really kick my ass. I mean, they're already doing it, but even more so. Last time, since we also got the Red Mage Asterisk, we can use white and black magic spells now. So I'm going to be picking up a bunch of those while I'm here. Let's see. So in the first dungeon we're going to, the enemies are all undead, so they're going to be weak to fire. So let's get heat for them. Then I'd like to get the Cure White Magic Scroll and the Asuna Scroll, even though I did just sell the Remedy there. But that's a, a one-time deal here, whereas with the Asuna Spell, I can just use that as long as I have MP for it, so I get a lot more out of that than I would a single consumable status curing item. As for Cure, uh... I didn't just get it just to heal my own party members, but also for casting against the undead enemies. Just like almost every other Final Fantasy game, if you cast Cure on undead, it damages them, and that'll be really powerful for us here. As a matter of fact, let's give Nikolai the black and white magic command there as his secondary. That'll help us out a lot. Now, I'm just standing here to wait for nighttime, so that way I can rack up some more kills on those great bats there, since they're only at nighttime. In order to unlock all of the entries, or all the text in the bestiary entries, you need to kill a certain number of enemies for each of those boxes above where it says next. Uh, for each one of them from left to right, it's one, four, six, eight, and ten enemies that you need to kill. And that's on top of everything that came before it. So that's 29 enemies that you need to kill to get everything. I'm not going to go out of my way to get all those unlocked right now, but eventually I will. But yeah, it's just, yeah, we got goblins last time in here now. But yeah, if I bothered like, un fully unlocking every enemy's uh, text there, it would, I would just be even more obscenely overpowered than I already am. So, I'll just save that for later. But more importantly, we've got bosses in the bestiary here. So, unlike the regular enemies, who don't really have much interesting to say there, bosses have more interesting things. But, like, let's see. So, you see on the left there, you got these little symbols that indicates who wrote that text in the best year here. So you got uh, the flower for Magnolia, the staff for Nikolai, the shield for you, and the sword or rapier, whatever that is. Uh, that's for Jan there. Oh, yeah, well, I suppose we didn't really follow up with DeRosa after the first game, huh? But in any case, yeah, if you press the R button, you can even get some more text once you fully unlock them. But bosses only require one kill to fully unlock. Oh, so that's what he was doing there. Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. For now, let's wait for nighttime. Or at least, like, starting to transition to nighttime. Okay, there we go. Even though it's not quite nighttime yet, if I got into a battle when it's transitioning like that, it would be nighttime in the battle. Oh, and here we got an ambush. Well, I can show you something here. Otherwise, I was gonna, like, edit this battle out or something, but let's go with Double Crescent Moon 
on these guys. Either of these two should be able to get the job done. Eventually. Yeah, look at that damage. But, as you can see, even though we won the battle in a single round, we don't get the option to fight another one. What gives? Well, that's a drawback of getting ambushed there. Because the first round is actually when the enemies got in some of those free hits. So by the time we even got a turn, it was too late. So, oh well. If only there were an item or an ability that could prevent ambushes. But sadly, we don't have one in the demo. But, uh, okay, so we got, we made it here. Let's see, okay, good. We got the black and white magic ready to go into the Northwest Cave. I couldn't have come up with a more creative name than that. Okay. But in any case, yeah, new to Bravely Second, they give you a recommended level for going into dungeons there on the upper right of the bottom screen there. So that's pretty nice. Depending on your uh, difficulty mode that you're playing on there, you might need to get higher on the spectrum there. But let's see, how are we doing? Yeah, I mean, we'll be fine, even though we're on the low end there. The, the enemies in the dungeons are a lot tougher than in the dungeons than they are in the overworld, but we'll be fine here. And here we've got some new enemies. Let's see, so we got Bone Hunters in the back there. They can poison you with, well, poison shot. And Zombie Knight can paralyze you with a shield bash there. So you want to watch out for that. Okay, so to kill these guys, since they're all undead, let's go with Quadruple Heat on them. And then let's see if we can examine the two enemy, or two, yeah, the two new enemies here before you can... Okay, good, good. So let's see, the undead in this dungeon can have upwards of 300 max HP. And yeah, as you can see, they're all weak to fire and light there. You might have noticed with you there, he dealt a lot more damage with his first spell than the second one. And uh, that's because his MP was at maximum, which triggered full charge, which greatly increases the potency of your spells there. You could have seen it pop up there, too, in the lower right when he cast his first spell. And here we got another new enemy, mummies. They can put you to sleep. So we want to be ready for that. But let's see, with these guys, let's go with two cure spells. In order to cast it on enemies, just select view foes. Boom. You can hit all of them or just one of them if you really want Two cure spells ought to get the job done. And then with Jan, it looks like one of them is a lot bigger than the other one. That indicates what their HP is. Bigger enemies are going to have, well, more HP. So let's go examine them. And then one Crescent Moon and one attack on the bigger of the two of them. At least, I think that one looks a little bigger. Let's see, yep, that one has a lot more HP, so, yeah, get in that extra attack there, and I think we'll be able to take them down. Okay, there we go. Alright, got them all. Let's see, we're doing pretty good on HP. What's the worst that could possibly happen while they have two free rounds of hits on us? Ah, you see? Poison shot there. Did that work? No, I don't think I got poison there. Nope. And, yeah, there's a shield bash. Okay, now I got poison there. But, yeah, I can't cast Asuna until I get up to level 2 Red Mage, unfortunately. It's a level 2 spell in the demo, anyway. But, uh, okay, so let's go cure on all these guys. Yeah, let's just go all out because we're not going to have another battle. And let's see, okay, a couple Crescent Moons, I think we'll be good to go. Oh yeah, we got them all. Very nice. And for defeating them, what do we got? 
a monster bone, or four of them. We only needed three for the side quest there, so that's all we need to uh, complete that. I just wanted to grab a couple treasures while I was here. Oh yeah, and we got poisoned there. So let's see, okay, heal up a little bit there. And okay, yeah, I don't have anything to cure that, so we'll be poisoned for a little while. Now well, that'll be okay. Well, at least we got Balsam. That cures the Dread status. If I ever say Fear instead of Dread, I mean Dread. Fear is just like a more common name for a status ailment in an RPG. Wow, that poison's dealing a lot of damage to us. But let's press onward. Hmm, I would have thought I would have gotten into a battle by now. Okay, there we go. Well, it's only going to be a one-rounder, unfortunately. Well, there's the sleep. Hmm, I thought there was another sound effect for that. Hmm, that's weird. Well, in any case, yeah, we're not going to be sticking around here very much longer. So yeah, quick, pick up a couple treasures, get what we want, get out. We'll be coming back here later. But as you can see with how tough these enemies are... Uh, that's why I went back to town to rest up after defeating DeRosa, even though we were, like, right next to the cave there. Well, we got a remedy from those guys. And I think the money is more worthwhile. You get to be poisoned a little longer, you. But alright, let's head back to base. Or, well, desert or whatever. Let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, oh, well... Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get enough JP to cast Asuna yet. All right. And after that battle, we gained the job level for Nikolai and you there. So, yeah, now we can cast Asuna. Get that out of the way. And then, let's see. Okay, so, yeah, let's get a little uh, HP restored for everyone there. How close am I to getting a uh, regular experience level up? Oh, we're almost there, so... Well, if I don't get a battle before I enter town, I'll make one happen. Before I, like, rest up at the end and everything like that. Get a little more MP. Alright, and after that battle, we uh, gained another job level for Nikolai and you. So, I want to change some things up here a little bit. Let's see, so... Yeah, we learned full charge for Nikolai. That's really all I wanted him to learn as a wizard there. So now I want to make him into a red mage so he can also get access to better magic there. Okay, so I equipped him with a rod during some of those battles just to deal a little more damage with his spells. But now I want him back on the staff there. And let's see, what do we go with? Probably spirit magic. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that for now. It doesn't especially matter, though. But I do want to equip full charge. I mean, we got nothing better to do anyway. Also, you got up to a level 3 red mage and learned MP free in a pinch. Which, yeah, makes your MP or your spells free when your HP is below 20%. You might think... That that would be good with full charge, because your MP would stay at the maximum if you started there at the beginning. But the problem is that it's so hard to keep someone alive with only 20% of their max HP that it's not worth it, even with uh, tanking available. But I'll equip it anyway. If it happens, it happens. But I'm not going to go out of my way to keep my party members nearly dead. That would be a bad idea. But, uh, okay, so let's uh, talk to the student and deliver those monster bones. Could have been any kind of monsters, but no, we had to get them from the undead. I guess we don't want to, like, I don't know, skin enemies or something. Dude. There you go. Oh, yeah. Hey, 
And for a reward, money. Nice. Oh, that's just the same thing they said before. Okay, never mind. Let's get out of here. Got a lot more money now. Let's see how much I can buy. And rest up at the end while I'm here. Let's see. How are we doing? Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, take care of that. So yeah, we've got a lot of money now. So I'm going to buy a lot of equipment. Oh, and get another quest from the rumor monger. Sure, why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Well, we already saw the... Or, we, yeah, we already heard about that secret paradise. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, no. Not her! Not again! Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, we couldn't get this quest at the same time while we're doing the other quest. So, yeah, we gotta go back there again. Besides, we got a lot more money and experience now. Okay, so why don't we go get the spells first, and then I'll get some more equipment. Okay, so this time, let's see, I would like to get the arrow spell, which is wind elemental. That'll be good against some of the enemies on the overworld. Let's see, raise, yeah, revives party members, or you could cast it on undead enemies. Though the uh, success rate leaves much to be desired. And get some more spells. Now with Espear, that drains MP from enemies. But remember, if it's undead, that effect will be reversed. So that won't really help us uh, in the, the dungeon now. But I mean, it's useful like on the overworld or something. When I'm not fighting undead enemies. So yeah, we really don't have a quest to do at this point, just to follow up on the the rumor there, I guess. Okay, so now I want to buy another wizard's rod. And let's see, what do we got for armor? Okay, I'm going to need a little more money. Let's see. Okay, so... Yeah, why don't we remove these? Because I'm going to buy some better armor for Nikolai there. He could use the help. Okay, so yeah, just get rid of the cheap stuff. Oh, okay, well then I need even more help. Well, we got that remedy that I picked up there that I didn't want to use. Too good to use, but not to sell. That's my motto. Okay, then let's see, for the armor, yeah, we want to get him a mortar board. And an academy gown, just like you. Now, even though they do boost your magic attack stat, that doesn't really help cure. Because the damage is based on your mind stat. So, this won't really help with that. But it'll help with, like, black magic or spirit magic. Okay, so let's get both of those going. Let's see, for the overworld... Yeah, I think I'll give him the wizard's rod, but hold on to the other rod and staff there. If I had the money, maybe I might buy the stronger staff, Jade Crozier, which boosts your mind a little more. But I didn't. I don't have the money there, so oh well. Sometimes I do, sometimes not so much. But all right, so let's see. We're all. Good to go here. I still want to keep you as a red mage until he masters the job class. Uh, you can only level up job classes to level four. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, Agnes I guess has some something to say about this. She didn't have anything to say about Derosa, oddly enough. Hmm. Oh, okay. 
Well, a tomb isn't exactly a cave. Hmm. Yeah, that does seem like a way out of the way for them. Oh. Well, maybe. If she doesn't, I'll introduce her to them. But in any case, yeah, we, uh, game. Can I, yeah, get to the overworld there? And again, I'm gonna wait for nighttime. But this time, we've got arrow spells to deal with some of the flying enemies around here. They're all weak to that. Unfortunately, there is no wind elemental spirit magic in the demo. So we only get access to the three basic elements there. But I still don't need lightning until much later on. So until we run into enemies that are exclusively weak to lightning and nothing else. Otherwise, I've got stuff already to handle them. Oh, another first strike by these guys. How do they keep on ambushing me? It's a wide open desert. How does it even work? Well, you know what? Why don't we use Arrow? Well, no, I, I, I was thinking about maybe demonstrating Arrow, but I want to keep my MP at max right now for uh, full charge there. Although, well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to run into tougher enemies where that'll be more worthwhile. I mean, I could drain MP, I suppose, with Ass Spear. You can drain MP from anyone, just like Final Fantasy II, or at least in the NES version. I don't know. But can we find the Superstar in the Northwest Cave? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second, the demo. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.